for this video you're going to make a rainbow and we are going to need all the seven colors of the rainbow or you can make use any colors you want as long as they are close to the colors of the rainbow I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and your yarn needle you're going to start off with a magic circle and you're going to make 10 half double crochets into the circle so you're going to make 10 half double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 10 I'm not going to finish my 10th half double crochet I'm going to pull to close the circle and I'm going to finish my 10th half double crochet with the indigo yarn slip stitch into the first half double crochet you made initially cut off your indigo yarn oops I cut off the wrong yarn here you go you're going to cut off the indigo yarn I'm going to knot it at the back so that it doesn't come undone for the second round you what you're going to do is that you're going to chain one and you're going to make two half double crochets into each of the ten stitches so at the end of round number two we are going to have a total of 20 half double crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and once again I'm not going to finish up my 20th half double crochet I'm going to keep three loops on my hook and I'm going to move on to the blue yarn this is going to be my third color of the rainbow I'm going to finish this stitch with my blue yarn and I am going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet we made for round number two Now you're going to cut your indigo yarn and make a knot. If you don't like making knots in your crochet work, please don't do it. It's just the way I feel comfortable. I'm going to chain one and in this round we are going to make an increase in every second stitch. 
So that means that you're going to make a half double crochet into the first stitch and two half doubles in the second stitch. One half double crochet in the next and two in the next. This is going to be a pattern for round number two. You can continue making this and I'll see you at the end of round number three. Sorry, round number three. We are going to have a total of 30 stitches at the end of round number three. So finish up your round and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of round number three. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but this is our fourth video in the Random Acts of Crochet Kindness. I will be hiding these rainbows at random places for people to find. Okay, I'm going to leave my last stitch undone and I'm going to move on to the green yarn. I'm going to finish this stitch with the green yarn. And as usual, I'm going to cut off the blue, make a knot at the back of my work and I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch chain one okay for round number four you're going to make an increase in every third stitch so that means you're going to make one half double crochet then one half double crochet in the second stitch and then two half doubles in the third one half double in the next another half double in the next and then two half doubles in the next. This is going to be a pattern for round number four. And at the end of round number four, we will be left with 40 stitches. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets. Oh, sorry, double half double crochets. one half double crochet one half double crochet and then two half double crochets this is going to be a pattern for this round and at the end the last stitch of this round will be changing colors again so continue making this round and i'll see you at the end of round number four Okay, so I've reached the end of my green round, that is round number four. I'm going to move on to the yellow yarn. And I will be finishing the stitch with the yellow yarn. I'm going to cut the green yarn. Make a knot. And slip stitch into the first stitch we made initially.
Okay, for round number five, we are going to make an increase in every fourth stitch. So you're going to chain one, make a half double crochet, one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next, and then two half double crochets in the next. One half double crochet in the next. Three stitches. And then in an increase. This is going to be our pattern for this round. So continue making round number five. And I'll see you at the end of round number five. Okay. So I've reached the end of round number five and I'm going to cut off my yellow yarn. And as I've done before, I'm going to move on to the orange yarn and finish my stitch with the orange yarn. We're going to make a knot at the back. Slip stitch into the first stitch. And chain one. Now for this round, we are going to make an increase in every fifth stitch. So you're going to make one half double crochet for the next four stitches. So two, three and uh, four and in the fifth one you're going to make two half double crochets one half double crochet for the next four stitches so one two three four and in the fifth one we are going to make an increase this is going to be our pattern for this round finish up the orange round and I'll see you at the end of round number six okay so I've reached the end of round number six and I'm going to cut off my orange yarn and I'm going to move on to my last color that is going to be red the last color of the rainbow I'm going to finish my stitch with the red yarn and make a knot at the back Going to make a slip stitch and chain one for round number seven you're going to make an increase in every sixth stitch that means you're going to make one half double crochet in six stitches five stitches sorry two three four Five. and in the sixth one we are going to make an increase that means that we're going to make two half double crochets in one stitch again one half double crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five and in the next stitch you're going to make two half double crochets this is going to be our pattern for the seventh round finish your seventh round and I'll meet you at the end of round number seven 
Okay, so I've reached the end of round number seven. I'm going to make my last increase and I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we have two options of finishing off here. Either you fasten off here with leaving a long tail or you fold your rainbow in half like this. You fold it in half like this, making sure that your crochet hook is at the very edge of your rainbow and you make a slip stitch going through both the stitches of both sides. So in short, you're going to be slip stitching two stitches together to keep your rainbow folded. Okay. So make your slip stitches. My yarn keeps splitting for some reason. I don't know why. I plan on very lightly stuffing my rainbow with polyfill but that's completely optional if you don't want to fill your rainbow you don't have to fill your rainbow I just like giving a little poofy 3d look so I am going to stuff my rainbow slightly but I will start stuffing it after I'm halfway through. I'll be calling my rainbow the rainbow of hope. Okay, now this is where I will start to stuff my rainbow. I'm going to take a tiny bit of stuffing and I'm going to put it in. I do not want my rainbow to be very very poofy but I want it to have a slight 3D effect. Okay now I've stuffed half of my rainbow. I'm going to continue making my slip stitches. If this video was too fast for you, you can always pause it. If it's too slow for you, you can always increase the speed of the video going into the options. Okay, so I'm almost, almost at the end of my rainbow and I'm going to stop here. Then I have a tiny bit of space to put my finger in and I will stuff the rest of my rainbow. As I've said before, those of you who do not want to stuff your rainbow don't have to stuff your rainbow. Okay, I'm finished stuffing my rainbow and I am going to carry on. Slip stitching. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to slip stitch into the last stitches and I will be leaving a long tail. And I'll tell you the reason just why in a second. Okay. This is what your rainbow looks like so far. You can shape it like this, pulling on the ends a tiny bit so that it looks more like a rainbow. Then you're going to thread your needle or Okay, so I've threaded my needle. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to find the middle stitch here that is going to be this one. I'm going to go in my rainbow from the corner. I'm going to come out somewhere near the stitch. Don't give it a tight tug, just a tiny tug. And I'm going to go back from the same stitch I had come out from. And I'm going to look for the middle stitch. It's here for me. Once you reach the middle stitch, you're going to make your loop as big as you want it to be so that it can be hung. You're going to go into the same stitch twice and then make a knot finishing off your stitch I would like to go in once more and make another knot just to secure my yarn and then I'm going to go inside my rainbow again and I'm going to come out at several places so that my knot or my loop does not come undone after I've done it twice or thrice I am going to cut off my loop not my loop the last thread and here you go your rainbow is ready if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as it would help me immensely. I will be making a lot of new stuff, quick amigurumi projects. And for that, I really need your support and your motivation. Thank you so very much for dropping by. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.